Hey guys, my name is Jack Olivia and welcome back yet another video and today, like I said, I'm going to react you Descendants towards more in the future and today I bring to you Descendants 1 Coronation Mal doll which I'm super excited about because right now I have one in box as you can see and one out of the box I love this so much I don't know what about these Descendants dolls but they just hit so much different in the box like I collect Monster High for example and these are just so much different I don't know why this doll is actually one of my first Descendants dolls I got her knowing box like this one but I unboxed her and through the years technically this is not my first ever because I a little bit customized the Descendants eyes as well so technically the accessories and the dress was the OG Mal had for me so yeah and also I did it her hair which was a lot of work so yeah, I'm gonna talk about that later in this video. So let's start with the in-box one so we can take a look at their packages, which I really, really love. Like the Diva boxes are so much better than the D2 or D3 one. Like I love all of them, but these are my favorites. So as you can see in the middle, you can see the doll. The background is really cool. It's designed to each character. So for me, it's purple and white. You got Maleficent, like dragon details on it. I love that. These are so <laughs> detailed boxes. And on the front, the cutout is actually Evie's magic mirror, which I love. Which also continues on the top and on the side. On the other side, well, it's more like, like it's banded. So yeah, technically this is the front and the side as well. And they put each character's logo over here. So it's different for each doll and also some Descendants details. And at the bottom, you can read Disney Descendants, Mal, Isle of the Lost, and these dolls were made by Hasbro. And at the back, you can see Disney Descendants, Mal, Isle of the Lost, that are Maleficent, choosing good above all else. And you can see the map of Orodon. I love that detail. And of course, a picture about Dove as Mal in this look. And this is how I display her basically. So her ring also on her hand, which is, I really love these rings. Like I think all of the five coronation dolls, like Mal's ring is my favorite because they redid Mal's, aka Ben's ring that he gave to Mal. And this also has like some dragon details on it, which I love. She comes with these gold sandals, which got little like dragon details which I love and some purple in the front really cute and this is her OG outfit which I'm really proud that it's all in one piece because I own another one which on like a D2 mail that I just saw like this a D2 mail and I bought it and that dress is just so so messy so yeah I'm really proud of myself that this is all in one piece no damage or anything and this dress actually grew on me through the years and seeing that on the doll because in the movie like this is not my favorite dress but on the doll it's really cool and the divan dolls are very detailed because like these all separate layers sewn together like with this like this little purple mesh fabric with this like glittery one yeah this is so sick and i love it this is so cool. This is what Evie would design for a doll. And the top of the dress, or the gown actually, is like this. Um, underneath there's like the purple and on top of that, which is two separate fabrics, again, sewed together like this. Um, See-through like this mesh or whatever with some glitter details. That's really awesome. And she also got a purple ribbon band and it's all velcros at the back. I don't know what kind of part is this or how you want to call it, but it's plastic. It got some molded on details, which is really cool. And it just snaps onto the door so it stands. But I think it's really, really, really pretty. So these doors came with a little purse. So Maz is white with gold and some spikes and pearls on it, really cute. And specifically, she comes with Fairy Godmother's magic wand, which is really cool. It also got a little painted detail over here on both sides. That's, this is my favorite thing about this. Like, she comes with the magic wand. I love that. 
and well yeah the descendants face is like they do not do not wearing so many makeup or something like most of them have just this kind of little peach or pink eyeshadow with pink lipstick so yeah there's nothing too much to talk about that it's smile face from Devon which is really cute and she has like this real really cool earrings at, with the heart at the bottom and the heart is painted to purple I think this is really cool and this also matching with her tiara or whatever this one to be which is really cool it's gold and purple as well and this is her hair which I recreated and yeah like I said because this doll is like from vintage like it's second-handed it was <laughs> a totally bad uh, condition like I had to redo her hair which I plan to do with my OG Mel as well so I would do it anyway but it's more like a time-consuming like patient game so it's it I think I got like for mental breakdowns doing this hair. I also made the short doing this hair, so check that out too. It's it's more like a speedo version, but yeah. <laughs> and also I did it for little bangs. It's full gelled, but this one does also have poly hair, so I don't really care. And she looks so amazing. I'm obsessed with this, and I just love this doll so much. And also I a little bit cut her little bang over here on the side, because as you can see in the box, it's more um, longer, originally. Mine's going on the side, by the way. I think this is all for Mel. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on my TikTok and Instagram at the Olivia. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Peace.